Hi guys, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes and today I'm going to teach you how to make one of my favorite things, chai. Chai is another word for saying tea and um, it's really good, especially I drink mine in the morning instead of coffee. I need it. It's kind of like it's kind of like putting gas in my tank. I need it to get up, otherwise there's no way I'm getting out of bed and doing any but doing anything for anyone until I don't have my tea, you guys. So this is what, how I this is how I make it. This is how I like it. So um, if you want to get fancy and if you want to serve it, you know, like for for yourself and your significant other or your girlfriends or whatever, get a nice little teapot. Make sure fill it up with very very hot water. Whatever you're serving tea in, whether it's teacups or a teapot or both, make sure they're very, very hot because anytime you serve tea or coffee and you put hot tea into a cold cup, well guess what? The temperature goes down and then you might as well put an ice cube in it because it's not going to taste good. So okay, so I'm, I put a little bit of cardamom, oops, a little of cardamom for flavor and these are really, really strong and intensely flavored so you're just going to need a little bit, like literally like two or three of these little pods. I like to flavor my tea in my cup with honey, but you can use honey, sugar, whatever you like. A tiny pinch of salt, just a little tiny bit. It's not going to taste at all salty. You need really good British tea. The British people know how to drink their tea. My favorite brand right now is PG Tips. I really like it. You can get it at the like in the European section of your supermarket probably. They, that's where I can that's where I find mine. You could also find it in like Middle Eastern or Mediterranean grocery stores. If you can't find this, use whichever kind of black tea that you like to use. And then whole milk. So I'm waiting for my water. I think it's starting to, it's really, really hot. I'm going to first fill up these teacups with very hot water because again, I don't like drinking room temperature or lukewarm tea. I like it either piping, steaming hot, or freezing cold. And I'm not making iced tea today, so we're going to make like this. And I'm making just two cups. So you need about a cup and a half of water. And it doesn't have to be boiling hot. I just heated it up in my kettle because I was going to use a bunch to heat up my, um, my cups and everything, right? So I'm going to turn my fire on. So I put about a cup and a half of water for, you know, two cups of tea. I'm going to put three tea bags in there. I'll put three of these little cardamom pods and a tiny, the tiniest little pinch of salt, just a little bit. I'm going to let that come to a boil and I'm going to let it boil just for a little bit for about a minute and then I'll add my milk to it. Okay, so my tea is boiling. And it's starting to get a really nice color. You see that color? Now I'm going to add a little bit of milk. And I like my tea really creamy. So I'm going to add about 3 quarters of a cup of milk to this. And if I think it needs to get a little creamier, I'll add a little more milk. So I'm going to let this come to a boil as well. I'm going to cover it because I have I'm very limited in the patient's department, you guys. So I'm going to let this come to a boil covered. And once it starts boiling, I'm going to uncover it so it doesn't spill all over my stove top. Then I'll have a big, huge mess to clean. Okay, so it's starting to come to a boil, and I'm just going to stir it a little bit and let it cook for about a minute or two until it thickens up a bit, and then it's going to be completely ready. Okay, I'm going to add just a tiny bit more milk because I like mine a little bit creamier. I'm going to let this cook for about two more minutes. Uncovered, of course, so it doesn't spill all over the stovetop. Then I'm going to pull out the tea bags and strain the cardamom pods, and then it'll be ready to serve. Okay, I'm just going to take out the tea bags and the cardamom pods, turn my pot out, and now it's going to be ready to serve. Okay, so my tea is ready. And I'm just going to spill out all the hot water that's in here so I can pour my tea in here. And of course you don't have to do this if you're just serving tea for one, but I want to get a little fancy today. Which girl doesn't love a tea party, right? I'm going to pour this in my nice little teapot that's super nice and hot. Cover it. 
I'll spill the hot water out of here as well. I like some honey in my tea. Let's put a little bit of honey. Like that. Pour some tea in here. Grab myself a little pastry. And tea time it is. Give it a try, you guys. If you're not, if you don't like tea, I think you're gonna really like this. It almost tastes like a little dessert. So go on and watch the rest of the videos. Make a pastry with this and enjoy it in the morning, or maybe like around three o'clock when you need a little pick me up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.